Iowa adds to its 2023 recruiting class with another athlete from a small town in Iowa. That's become a common theme for 23 and 24. We'll get to the commitment from an Aiden Hall in a moment. But first, a reminder to please subscribe to this channel from the Hawkeye of the Storm. Please hit that thumbs up button. That helps this channel grow, helps the video to grow, helps us in the algorithm. Certainly tell your friends, tell your family, your fellow Hawk fans uh, about from the Hawkeye of the Storm, what we're doing here. Content all year long, including during the offseason, but certainly during college football and college basketball season. So the news about Aiden Hall, uh, athlete from Harlan. Uh, it's interesting. You look into Aiden Hall, and he played a number of positions in high school. You can watch his huddle tape. And again, as I say during every video, it's a, just a snapshot uh, highlight film. It's not It's not all-encompassing. So take what I say with a grain of salt, and please, your own conclusions, take those with a grain of salt. But when you watch Aiden Hall on tape, he's not going to blow you away with athleticism. All right, He's not going to blow you away with speed, frankly. Um, but he does seem to have a, a good knack for finding the ball. Um, he played defensive back in high school. I When I watched him initially, uh, to me, it looked more like he's he's destined to be a college safety. Um, you know, you look at his offer list. He just got an offer from Minnesota the other day, which is positive because he actually didn't have any other Power 5 offers. According to 247 Sports, Air Force just offered a few days ago. He's got an offer from Army. Georgia State, Illinois State, uh, FCS Power, North Dakota State, Northern Iowa, South Dakota, South Dakota State, Western Illinois. And according to 247 Sports, uh, Iowa State and Wisconsin were also in on Aiden, did not yet offer. Again, he's class of 2023. It is interesting, though. You see, you see Iowa continuing to reel these kids in. They just got Preston Reese, what, a week ago? Another small town athlete. These kids from Monticello and Rock Creek Valley and now... I think that's Rock Creek Valley or Rock Rapids, a little small town up in northwest Iowa. Now you have a kid from Harlan who, by the way, if you don't know where Harlan, Iowa is, it's the hometown of former Iowa assistant coach Greg Lansing, who recently was relieved of his duties at Indiana State. By the way, that's a, a guy that maybe we missed when talking about a potential candidate to replace uh, either Billy Taylor or now Kirk Spira. That's a topic for another video. But um, again, Aiden Hall, good athleticism, not going to blow you out of the water. Certainly a good athlete, but there's a difference between being really athletic and being a really good athlete. I think we understand that. And, uh, you know, he played wide receiver in high school. He ran with the football. I don't see him playing running back in college. Um, you know, potentially he grows another foot or two. Could he end up being a tight end? You know, maybe. Uh, I don't know that he's got the, the speed to be a college, especially a power five wide receiver. I seriously doubt it. Seems to have good hands and a good knack for the football. Um, I did see 247 Sports spoke with Aiden here on his commitment. It sounds like Iowa sees him more as a linebacker. But again, safety uh, is a possibility as well. So uh, again, good get for Iowa. I, I A lot of these kids, though, I'll just say this. A lot of these kids, it's just a wait and see. If Iowa sees him lining up as a linebacker or defensive back, and it sounds like they do. I have supreme confidence in both Phil Parker and and Seth Wallace, and you've seen Iowa doing this here recently, picking up these small-town athletes, but it's a wait-and-see because a lot of these schools have withheld offers, and Iowa going out on the limb and saying, hey, we trust our instinct on these on these recruits, these offers, and so far, these kids are committing rather quickly, and uh, good news. I mean, you look at the, the rankings for 23 and 24, Iowa ranked very highly, and this is this is a subject that I'm going to talk about in future videos, especially 2024. I'll just I'll just say this up front, and I think everybody realizes this. Iowa does not have the number two class in the country. They're not going to have the number two class in the country in 24. I know 247 Sports currently has it ranked as the number two class in the country. Obviously, we understand why a lot of top kids, most top kids not committed yet. We can get into that on a different show, but congratulations to Aiden Hall. Um, you love seeing these small town stories materialize and certainly kid out of Harlan, Iowa, always a great story. So congratulations to him, his family, to Phil Parker, Seth Wallace, Kirk Ferentz, his entire defensive staff. And again, we'll just wait and see where this class 2023 specifically uh, develops. Caden Proctor, we know he is item number one. If they nail Proctor. This class will stay a top 20 class, I think. Um, 
again, you know, Aiden Hall right now, by the way, if you, I mentioned this earlier, he's a zero star recruit, according to rivals. I think two, four, seven sports got him as a three star. This is just trusting your instinct again, as a, as a recruiting staff and as a coaching staff, recruiting your instinct and your knowledge and hoping that uh, he can develop and turn into a really good scholarship player. And wouldn't be the first time we saw guys like Tyler Sash, who was a really good football athlete. I'm not giving taking anything away from Tyler Sash in high school, really good athlete, but he didn't blow you away with athleticism either, but a really good athlete and certainly a tremendous safety at Iowa. Appreciate you tuning in this afternoon for another episode. Reminder to subscribe, like the video. You can donate to the channel in the description below and certainly supporting our sponsors, I should say, Ascent Nutrition. Thank you for jumping on. Order pine pollen, algae oil, plus mold and mycotoxin-free coffee. Really good stuff from Ascent Nutrition. You can find links to Ascent Nutrition's products. A portion of the proceeds that you purchase through those links are donated to our channel. So appreciate Ascent Nutrition sponsoring this. Order your products to better your mental and physical health today.